kicking it off with doubles. Team, uh, first team to be stepping up to the stream. I'm actually, don't know if I'm familiar with these players. Oh, this is Xion and Su, so Zion, Xion or Zion, I always forget. Um, Xion. It is Xion, okay. So Xion, back in the uh, Smash 4 days, was a cloud from uh, Connecticut, but now I'm assuming he's one playing Wolf. There are actually tons of uh, cloud players from Smash 4 made the transition to Wolf. A uh, Wolf's player told me it's because they actually feel almost identical in the air when Cloud has limit. Just the fact that he has really good hitboxes on stuff like back air, forward air, and plus the aerial mobility and fast fall speed. So, especially now that Cloud is not as good, a lot of those Cloud players have moved on to Wolf. Uh, and on the other side, we have SA Riggs and TT and Germ. I actually have heard of these players before. And we actually have, uh, I'm not sure who it is, who is whom. Rocking the uh, the Zelda, but I, uh, it's really nice to see her, even in doubles. Now, Zelda was a character who was hyped up a lot on the introduction of the game. She was one of the first characters we saw, and knowing how bad she was in Smash 4, it seemed like they fixed a lot of her problems. However, a lot of other characters also got fixed. She's probably not in the depths of, like, you know, bottom tier where she was before, but she still is kind of weak, one of those reasons being her neutral. Oh, but one thing she does not struggle with is that punish game. As you see, forward and back air might be a little bit harder to land those in the chaotic nature of doubles, but we're seeing that uh, he's not really having a problem so far, already getting one kill with a back air and landing a few others in between to get some solid damage, considering those moves do, like, 20% of pop. Anyway, four stocks for everybody on the field, but Fox is the only one right now who's sort of on death's door. 41%, especially against the Wolf. Fox is, of course, a light character, and Wolf, no stranger to ridiculous kill power. Oh, what a beautiful parry. I don't, I think there might have been a, is that a back air out of shield? And that's huge, meaning that now, even though Fox was down by that huge margin, basically these two teams are even. Oh, but really nice there, cleaning up that stock means that red team has a pretty solid lead. <gasps> oh my god, that was huge! Fox dropping a stock extremely early. Of course, his recovery has always been lamented as one of the weaknesses of the character, something that holds him back from being absolutely probably the best character in the game. I don't know. If he had, like, Palutena's recovery, I'm pretty sure he would just be hanging out at the top, leagues above everybody else. But a liability and as a result oh i love that up b out of shield that move is so, or actually had a roll rather that move is so fast and so devastating in terms of its kill power so as we see right there managing to at least take out this two socks against one but if she it's absolutely reasonable for her to be able to if she can take out uh who's weakly do you know who is who in this well you know, one of these wolves is very much at kill percent, 102. If he can manage to take out that wolf, he's still alive. He still has a chance. If he can manage to do that, then, uh, although he's down by quite a bit, it's very doable. But getting trapped at the ledge over and over again, beautiful ledge coverage. One of them just covering the roll. The other one up smashing in place, covering the jump, means that uh, wolf is going to be just those two wolves playing their game plan, close it out very cleanly. Um, game one going to red team. All right, it looks like I'm going to be joined on the mic right now. Hello, what's going on, man? How are you doing? Yeah. Yep. Looking nice great. around here. Racer X. Now, have you been to this menu before? No, first time, man. Isn't it, isn't it nice? Yeah, I love it, it. They got the mood lighting. They've got the plenty of setups. Um, For our weeklies, I think we have like 16, 17 setups. Everything runs just so smoothly. It's beautiful, man. I wish it wasn't so far away. I will come here all the time. Yeah. So I mean, hey, on the Metro North, 
yeah. from Grand, if you can get to Grand Central easily, it takes about 30 minutes yeah. to get here. So, so I was thinking about getting here from 125th, but oh, closer. I pick people up from the train by the way. Like oh, if you yeah. if you ever want to ride here, uh, I, if you go to the end of East Chester Dyer Ave, I okay. pick people up from the station there. Oh, okay, I'll, you got to talk then later on. But what's going on with this next match right here? So game one went to red team. Yeah. Red team, Double Wolf doing a really solid <laughs> job, especially they managed to get an early stock from uh Oh, we actually have Team Zelda. This is hilarious. Like, Wolf Pack, let's go. Yeah, the Wolf Pack, but there's also Team Zelda. Zelda and Zelda, um, of course. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to claim that Link is Zelda in Legend of Zelda's fashion, you know? Oh, really? That, the, the, the sort of the meme where everyone thinks that Link is Zelda. Still? Because he's the... I mean, by everyone, I mean not everybody. Not everybody, it's, yeah. It's <laughs> funny to imagine it's everybody. No, uh, I got you. I, I was victim of that, too. Like, I wasn't a Nintendo person back, so I have an excuse. All right. Wolf off stage. Let's see if we can target him a little bit. No. He up. He's like a boss. Like, ooh. Man, that move got weaker. It makes me feel so bad. Yeah, what is this guy doing? Like, he's going all in with his recoveries here. And wow. chill off the stage. So, I will say, last time, uh, the game was going relatively even. But there was a bit of a turning point because Fox ended up suffering a really early gimp. Oh, like, okay. both he and Fo uh, Wolf were off stage. And they kind of traded hitboxes on their uppies. But Wolf, like, sent him down and away. And he just died at, like, nothing because he couldn't recover after that. Oh. So I think that's one of the reasons why he's switching to Link. And I'm actually liking this Link counter pick. Seems to be working out for them. That's another stock down for a red team. Six stocks to four. But both the green team are, it's looking yeah. pretty dangerous for them. Oh my god, Wolf's smash attacks up like 2% lag. Yeah, I'm looking at red team here. Is some small haphazard placement of moves here costing them early stocks and one of them SD as a result. But otherwise, they're playing relatively solid. Yeah, oof. And the nature of doubles, uh, as long as the stocks are even, it's an even game. Yeah, definitely. Because the damage output is nuts. Uh, especially when you have a teammate to help you out in these sorts of things. So that means that although green team, both of them are like in the 30s, with one solid, you know, well-placed combo from these two wolves, that can go all the way up to like 80, 90, definitely. In an instant. I'm looking at the percents here for red team. They're a little bit, they're significantly higher than the green team. But what I am noticing right now is while they are getting confirms and kills on stage, off stage is where Wolf is at his weakest, if you want to call it his weakest. But I'm not really seeing green team um, make an effort to really uh, prioritize that. When someone gets off the stage in teams, you usually want to just back off of him and go 2v1 the other person. So deciding when to go after the player off stage and get possibly an early gimp um, is going to be key here in this set here. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of tricky because I feel like Link would be much better suited for that than, than Zelda. Link has really strong disjoints like forward air, which could probably beat out things like up B. Yeah. Um, whereas Zelda doesn't really have the hitboxes to reliably do that. I mean, neutral B sort of, considering she has intangibility, but you have yeah. to time that very carefully. Yeah, Zelda's order. definitely make, using that up quite often from what I'm seeing here. Oh, they did fix Zelda's up B grab hitbox. Like, Magnet hands a little bit. It used to be that if she didn't grab the ledge immediately, she was just gonna fall straight down and die. Good job by. <laughs> good, I think that was weaklings. Good job by punishing Zelda. Everything's on one, but Lance still got the two stocks. 150%. Wow. Ooh. Nice spin attack. What just happened to Chill? What just happened to Chill? Uh, I don't. I don't rightly know, but right now this is a really dangerous spot. Really bad for Wolf. They might have to start thinking about yeah, game three. I mean, one of the things is that in this situation, you can maybe start to try and last as long as you can <laughs> to... Oh, man. <laughs> I love the zoom-ins. Especially when they get hit by a, like, a exploding move, like, yeah. there from Zelda. I, I love fighting. I love seeing Donkey Kong lose just because you get to have the zoom-in on his face as he gets hit by the last hit and his, oh, his eyes, eyes are like pop popping out. out of his skull. <laughs> Yeah, man, well, that's one of my favorite things about the game when someone gets hit. Like, they're much more animated. But back to the game here, I saw two stocks in the early, um, for red team early on that they kind of just threw away. The, um, one of the wolves, they were a little haphazard with the recovery side, being really high for some reason, expecting not to get punished really hard for that. And then there was an SD by the other one. So you kind of wish you had those back, um, which kind of put them behind the eight ball early on. But other than that, they seem pretty good. Yeah, also, I don't think we should decry uh, green team just because the... Th so game one yeah. was really close. 
and she was going Fox before, and the Fox was working out much less effectively than this is Link. I think the Link counter pick is yeah. really solid. And we're actually going to be having an interesting counter pick. Wait, oh, the Wolf's counter pick here. Yes, I agree with this 100% okay. then. Now, you mentioned it before in the first game, you said that the, the problem you saw with the Fox was the hitbox were constantly trading, right? Yeah, well, also uh, off stage, especially. They were both off stage. And Wolf's up B, like, I, you don't need an expert to tell you that, like, that move is just like. The hitbox has on him are so much better than Firebox. Yeah, I can see why the, the Link was a pick because Nair is just very valuable as a, as a spacing tool. No, like Nair and forward air. Yeah, definitely to counteract the, the oh ridiculous hitboxes of the Wolf Pack here. I like how just like there's one guy from Red Team and one guy from Green Team who's just getting oh. absolutely destroyed, Jeez. but Red Team takes the real destruction there as. Oh, I'm loving this right now. If you notice, Zelda right there charged up this forward smash because of the tech. He missed his tech, and he can either roll into his teammate and the other guy duking it out or back into Zelda. He was kind of forced in there, and great recognition. Getting a forward smash and some solid damage. Right now, green team in a fantastic position. Zelda only having taken 43%. Yeah, support Zelda looks looking mighty fine right now. And another gimp, yes! And not only that, he got the spacing on Uppy such that he didn't bring him up with him. Yes, because Uppy has this hitbox, and if you connect on the opponent, it saves them. Pretty much, you're absolutely right on that. So he was able to not only get that down air, the weak down air, but managed to recognize that he needed uh, to space that upbeat properly. I'm really liking this Zelda play, and I think it's working out fantastically for Green Team. They have yet to drop a stock, and Red Team is already sort of getting backed into the corner. Yeah, Zelda's doing a good job conserving that stock, making them come to her. All right, Zanair off stage, what are you gonna do? Ooh, barely missed the back air. Great recognition from Link also, seeing that his teammate was stuck off stage, goes to pressure the wolf on the ledge, managing to, you know, guarantee that his teammate makes it back safely. Ooh, what's up? Oh, so he's letting him back on the stage. Oh, wow, I, he had no lag on that side me. Was that the tilting of Lyra? That might have something to do with it, but Zelda does get another wolf stock before she takes a bow and loses the first one. Uh oh! Oh, man. I don't even think there were there weren't even as many mistakes from red team this time around But they are just getting absolutely decimated green team making the perfect adjustments as It looks like they're gonna close this out in possibly a three or four stock fashion. Yeah, they're looking very good right now Teamwork is making the dream work right now and turning this match into a nightmare for red team oh, Love that on me All right, Link's come down with the down there accidentally kills his partner. We do not need that right now, but they still looking pretty good we are looking pretty good, and Wolf is a character that it feels like he can't go off for risky edge cards, you know? Yeah, Especially definitely. when there's a teammate back on stage. It's not like he can just run off, try and go for a downer, and it doesn't work, you know, just add whatever. Because, and I mean, I feel like that's what they need at this point, some type of convincing edge guard to at least even up the stock count. Because yeah. one of them's at 124, the other one's at 68. All right, chill off the stage. What can he do? Link's looking for something, but the, ooh. Nice side B by the Zelda, who's not ready for it. He was too busy looking at Link there. Link, Link in trouble. All right, trying to fight back. Dash attacks. Ooh. Jumps over the Knight. He's doing a good job of, like, like splitting his offense between the two characters. Like, yeah. as, soon as, as soon as one gets off guard, he immediately goes to the other one, but that spin attack seals the deal. Yeah. The big thing about like a 2v1 comeback like that is, especially when you're at high percent, literally no mistakes can be made. Yeah, absolutely. The second you mess up once, the second that like you, what was that? Yeah, he spot dodged, he tried to up smash out of yeah. shield. Uh, it was so perfect because like, even if you blocked it, even if Wolf blocked, Zelda was right there for the punish. He had no choice. Yeah. To either block the attack and possibly get grabbed by Zelda or just take another mix up as a result, so. Rock and hard place, man. Rock and yeah. hard place. And now they are uh, 